Okay, so this is number five in the inventor practice problems. I'm going to click on new, I'm going to click standard IPT, and I'm going to click create. And I'm going to wait for inventor to catch up with me. I'm going to go home, click on the plus sign next to origin, and I'm going to select the plane to draw on. This problem is similar to number two. So I am going to draw on the right hand plane, which is YZ. Click start 2D sketch. And I'm going to draw the outline of this thing as if I were looking at the right side view, which is going to look like something like this. Okay. Then I'm going to put dimensions on it. The height is 1.75. The depth is 2.5. This part right here is 0.75. And this is 0.5 here. I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude this piece 0.75. Now I'm going to put a sketch here and draw the rectangle that comes off of it. So start 2D sketch. I'm going to come up to project geometry and change that to project cut edges. And now it gives me a nice little outline to work with. I'm going to click on rectangle, come to the corner, get the green dot so I know that my rectangle is constrained exactly to the corner. Click and then I'm going to dimension the rectangle. The rectangle is 0.75 this way, 1.75 that way, I'm sorry, and 0.75 up and down. I'm going to finish the sketch and now I'm going to extrude this rectangle 2.5. Now I need to put the other angled piece on this side. I could always put a sketch here and redraw it, but it's easier just to mirror it. So go to plane, pick midpoint between mid plane between two planes, pick this plane, pick this plane, and there's your plane in the middle. Click on mirror. Click what you want to mirror, which is extrusion one. Click the red arrow catch the corner of the work plane, make sure it highlights, it gives you a preview of what it's going to look like and tell it OK. And there is number five. Now to get rid of this work plane guys, do not, do not, do not delete it. Instead just right click on the work plane and turn off visibility. If you delete it, you will delete whatever you did with it. So I'm going to put a color on this guy. Let's make it Oh, indoor pool sounds completely ridiculous. There you go, it's kind of translucent. I'm going to save it. Number five. In my practice folder, I'm going to click on the I. I'm going to go new. I'm going to pick PLTWA, create. And I'm going to put it on the IDW. So the project name is practice. Put in your actual name, please date and the file name weird thing I drew. Seriously call it whatever you want as long as it's not profane I don't care. Tell it OK. Base. Make sure your front is my front. Put in your front view, your right view, and your ISO, right click, click, create. Now obviously this part is pretty big, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to the front view, I'm going to double click on it, and I'm going to change the scale to 0.75. That'll shrink it enough that I can comfortably move it and it doesn't look, you know, completely ridiculous. Come over to the ISO, do the same thing, double click, 0.75, change the color to solid, and there you go. Save it and print it to the 5430.